Good evening. My voice sounds groggy because I'm about to go to sleep. But, sorry, it's my noisy bed. You hear in the background. But I just came across an article that I really want to share with you guys. 2024 has just started and it's already starting off with a bang. I truly believe this can be the year that we go home. Now, I'm not saying indefinitely because we don't know. We don't know. But we definitely do not have much more time left. I think there's a very good chance we could be raptured this year, but I'm not going to say definitely. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to say definitely because we don't know. But there's a good chance. Very good chance. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. He guides in you. He, he guides you. He lifts you up. He strengthens us. He is our best friend, our King, our Savior, our everything. He washes away your sins. Then you will be rapture ready. Do not put your faith and trust in these world leaders who are starting to build or already have bunkers. I just saw that not only does our government have these massive underground bunkers that could fill, that could feed every hungry person across the across the world. But they're free of chemicals and pesticides and all that junk that they put in our food. This is a, this is prophecy too. They can't hide from God. They can't go into the mountains and hide from God. Prophecy is leaping off the pages of the Bible. This is amazing. I mean, did y'all ever think that you would see the things happening at the rate they're happening at? It doesn't amaze you even more that a lot of people don't see it. We're all meeting at the marriage supper. So, hang in there. And if you haven't accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, I implore you to do it today. Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to God the Father. Do not be left behind. Now, this country, the United States, I have been saying for the last year... In my videos. I don't know why. But 2024 keeps sticking in my head. I pray it's. I pray the rapture happened in 2024. But whatever we go through. Between now and the rapture. Stay close to the Lord. Be strong in prayer. Put on the full armor of God. This is official. This came out from routers. Um, if today's the second. It came out today. <laughs> the days all run together. Saudi Arabia officially joins BRICS. This country's toast. It's gone. State TV. Dubai. <clears throat> Saudi State TV has said on Tuesday that the kingdom had officially joined the BRICS bloc of countries. Saudi Arabia's foreign minister had said in August, <coughs> excuse me, the kingdoms would study the details before the proposed January 1st joining date and take the appropriate decision. Well, Prince... Let's see. Fasal bin something, I don't know, Far, Farhan had said <coughs> sorry. The BRICS group was a beneficial and important channel to strengthen economic cooperation. The BRICS bloc previously included Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, but is set to double with Saudi Arabia. I cannot talk. My, my voice gets like this from tired. I'm sorry. <coughs> Um, but it is set to double with Saudi Arabia joining the United Arab Emirates, e Egypt, Iran, and Ethiopia as new members. Saudi Arabia's entry comes amid geopolitical tensions between the U.S. and China and the expansion of China's influence within the kingdom. Despite continued strong ties with the U.S., Saudi Arabia has increasingly pursued its own path out of concern <clears throat> that Washington is less committed to the Gulf security that in the past Washington don't give a flippity flu about anything. Especially the people in this country. China, Saudi Arabia's biggest oil customer, has led calls for the BRICS to expand to become a counterweight to the West. The expansion can amplify the group's declared ambition to become a champion of the Global South. All that Argentina signaled in November it would not take up the invitation to join. This is huge. I have a feeling, family, <clears throat> wherever you're listening around the world, 
this is going to be a very difficult year. But when we have the Holy Spirit by our side, we will get through. And we will be hearing that trumpet very soon in here. Come hither. And we will be home. And we're meeting at the marriage supper. So I'm looking forward to meeting you guys. I will leave the link in the description box. Stay close to the Lord. He's all we need in these difficult times. Those of you that um, have been asking about the horse, um, I finally found a very nice police officer that went down, <clears throat> verified it was the same location that I saw. He said they did look thin. He said he knows the person that owns the land and that he buys horses from Mexico and rehabilitates them. But um, he, he said that... Uh, He's going to double check. He's going to check. Because um, he said they did look very thin. And um, so he's going to make sure that the horse, horses are being taken care of. So um, I'm glad they followed through on that. So, and he's, he's going to follow through. So, um, but yeah, he said, well, he didn't, he didn't say rehabilitate. What he said was uh, he, he gets horses... He, he, what he said is he, I'm trying to remember what he said, he gets horses from Mexico and then gets them healthy and sells them. So, um, who he sells them to, I don't know. I'm praying it's somebody, somebody good. But, um, yeah, so he's going to check on them. So, um, I, I saw that and I was just like, oh my gosh. You know, because I, I know that horses get cold too and we've had cold past couple of days, those of you that live in this area in Fourth, Texas. And um, sometimes they put those things in the horses to cover them so they're a little warmer. They had nothing. They had no And this horse had something on his fur. I don't know what it was. But you could see his hip bones. You could see his uh, rib cage. And he was hungry. That's what really drew my attention because I was thinking maybe he's just an older horse. Maybe he's a sick horse. I would have still called anyway, you know, so they can double check on him. But um, he kept eating the grass. But there was nothing there. It was just like, it's like it was a bunch of dirt with, like, dried up twigs, you know. And um, so you could tell he was hungry because he was trying to get food. Kept eating. And there was nothing there. So I, I picked some green grass that I saw and tried to give it to him, but he, he wouldn't come over to me. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So they are, they are going to... Um, Keep an eye on them. So. Keep your eye on this guy. This could be the year we go home, but could we still be here next year? I mean, we could, we could, but there's a very good. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards this could pop. This could be the other rapture, but I'm not saying yes, it's going to be the other rapture because we don't know. But there is a good chance, the way things are lining up. That's all I think about. Sorry about my noisy bed. <laughs> Somebody one time said, oh, you must have an air mattress. I'm like, no, I'm just an old bed. But, um, that's all I think about. I'm just... This, this world's so horrible. You know, but I'm just... I'm seeing... Um, I've been seeing more um, videos on TikTok of people that are surrendering. A lot more people are can't afford their pets and are surrendering their pets to shelters. And there's one shelter that's, it's horrible. And they're always having to put down animals. Um, it just breaks my heart. I wish I could just take all of them, you know. It's just everything. There's so, just so much cruelty in the world, you know. And what they're doing in the UK and praise the Lord that that judge stops that, you know, because, um, yeah, that's, that's horrible. I'm an animal lover. You know, I, I believe it's how they're raised. You know? So, um, do I believe if, if if an animal attacks somebody, they should be put down? Yes. Absolutely. But you can't leave a whole breed. Any dog can have a tendency to be aggressive. Do we just get rid of dogs completely? You know? I mean, it, in my opinion, it's how they're raised. You might have those few that just 
packed out, but it's rare. But anyway, that's for another video. So, um, I know a lot of us will disagree on that topic, but the main thing right now is accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. Praying for this lost world. Praying for our family and our friends who don't see and make, who are lost and putting on the flummer of God because this is going to be a bumpy year. I, I've been saying this for the last year. It's just something I feel. But we could be going home this year. So I will either talk to you guys in the morning or in heaven. Good night. God bless and I will talk to you soon.